A North Dakota native is making waves in the Christian pop industry. Abby Grimaldi just released her lead single, Faith Funk, today, and she joins us today from Nashville. Abby, great to have you back on North Dakota today. We are so excited for you. Hi, guys. Okay. <laughs> a little bit of a delay. I was worried you couldn't hear us. So, okay, let's tell us what oh, happened yeah. today. Tell us about this new single and what it took to get to today. Sure. Um, I wrote Faith Funk a year ago. I've been working with a producer for over a year now, and we recorded vocals, let's say, in March, April, got production back at the end of September, and finally releasing it today, April 2nd. I'm so excited, and this morning I woke up, and this is um, a first for me. It was on the Christian chart on iTunes. <gasps> that is really? awesome. That's Congratulations. Fantastic. Love it. Thanks. Okay, so it has been quite the year, and you were doing all this during mm -hmm. the pandemic, um, and, and the fact that this is Christian pop. Let's talk a little bit about your faith and how important it has been for you, your entire life, and your husband as well. That has probably played into you uh, going towards this genre of music. Yeah, absolutely. It's just been the cornerstone of my life, and I was actually talking to someone at the Preds game last night, this nice fan that found me was like, I can't wait for Faith Funk. And she said something to the effect of, you know, your faith inspires me. Like, thank you for doing that. Thank you for being that. And it was kind of like, well, like, thanks for thinking that. But, you know, it's like, you know, it's like, you don't have to, you know, thank me for it. It's just, it's like who I am. And I was telling her, like, when, when Christ has um, come into your life and he's transformed you and um, you've had that experience through, you know, knowing the scripture and stuff, it's just, it's who you are and you can't help but be that. And of course, life isn't perfect. And like you said, with COVID, it's been a crazy year, but you know, through the ups and the downs, Christ is my cornerstone. And I do write about all sorts of things, but at the end of the day, the most important thing that I write about is my Christian faith. Mm -hmm. So Abby, where can we find this song? Everywhere online, it's on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, or all the three big ones. But if you don't have any of those, it's actually also on, like they release it on YouTube. I think it's also on Amazon service, just, you know, anywhere online. <laughs> Okay, well that's good because I mean we just have to Google it and something will pop I up. I found right? it on Amazon Music today. I posted it onto my Instagram story. You know oh, her pink, yeah. her picture, and then I, I was it. able to play it on there. I love it, and I've been listening to it. Uh, I I want you to kind of tell us about what the song is about because when you you listen to it, and it's like it just you can start moving, but then the more that I've listened to it, a couple like three or four times just this morning, you start listening yeah. to the words, and I feel like it really touched me. Can you talk a little bit about? Um, what the song is about. Sure. Well, I'm a really ambitious person and I've always seen my Christianity and my ambition going hand in hand with like certain, you know, things that I want to do in my life. And really the, the most important thing to me is making an impact and inspiring people. And I remember graduating college, I had been in pageants, been doing all these, you know, impactful things. And then I got married and I wasn't able to do any of those things, but I had this dream of being a Christian artist and the pieces just were not fitting together and I was working so hard like you know singing one to three hours a day writing every day you know all the time and um it was really just I wrote it a year ago when I was still kind of feeling like okay god like I'm just knocking on a brick wall here um but what I love about this song is that obviously it talks about how I'm in a faith funk have you ever been in a faith funk is kind of the question and I'm like I'm sure Sure, you have been in a faith funk where you're trying to, you know, trust God and believe, but things don't make sense, and that can apply to a lot of different situations. And then my favorite lyric is, the things that I'm chasing are not everything. And when we wrote that lyric, I was like, the song has a message, it makes sense. It talks about how we get ensnared by these things that are, you know, temporary, and sure, they matter to us, and they matter to God, but at the end of the day, our true, you know, focus and thing that should matter is, you know, pointing people to Christ. So that's faith funk. I love it. Uh -huh. That gives me chills. Well, okay. it's so true that most, you know, that many people go through that. So yeah. I think it's hugely important that you wrote this and at a young age like this, because it's the young people, I think, mostly, you know, that, that do have that I funk. agree. Okay. We want to hear the song. We're yes. making people wait too long. We we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to hear Faith Funk. And uh, she mentioned the Predators game. We're also going to talk about her husband, Rocco Grimaldi. Mm -hmm. He's also having a big week, too. Stay with us.